Well, it's another perfect day, and I've got two blank canvases. I think it's time for another impromptu The Artist Nook. I'm heading down to the Piscatasquag River today, and I'm going to try and take that little easel and a couple small canvases, panel backing. That was the name I was looking for in the last episode that I couldn't remember. Panel backing uh, small canvases out on my kayak with me and try and get some uh, river scenes. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so we'll be pulling up to the uh, boat launch pretty shortly and then I'm gonna inflate my kayak pull that out of the car, get it ready to go. Um, everything should fit on the kayak pretty easily. That's kind of why I decided maybe this is a, you know, a possibility that um, we could do an artist nook like this. So we'll see how it goes. So lots of cool different things along the way here along the river to paint. Um, we'll see what I decide to uh, choose to paint. Maybe I'll combine a bunch of ideas into one as usual. Usually when I get out on the water I'll just put on some sort of uh, classic album of some sort and just kind of chill out. And ideas seem to come to you. Alright, so I've had a little ways out here. I'm trying to find a, a decent spot where um, I can kind of rest and not have to paddle too much. Be able to kind of float around. And I've got this little cove here. And I got my sunblock on. Um, I've got maybe just enough space here um, in my kayak to be able to set up the easel and paint. I might have to just <laughs> hold the canvas in my hand as I paint. It's going to be a tricky little thing. Um, you know, but we'll see how it goes. It does sort of strike me, though, that artists of the past... Uh, probably weren't kayaking when they were painting, like, say, Monet. Um, he would have the rowboat, and he would set up his easel in the middle of the rowboat, maybe a little more stability than what I've got here. And, uh, you know, if he was lucky, maybe he had somebody to paddle the thing for him. Uh, not the case for me, um, but that's all right. I'm not complaining. I'm making do with what nature has provided for the day um, for this artistic quest. Because that's what we're doing here on the Artist Nook. We're on a quest to dig deep for um, our best work, for our most interesting, for our most creative. And it's not really about achieving that, because <laughs> it doesn't happen. It's about the, the journey to do that, the adventure to do that. And um, that's kind of goes with all aspects of life. Hmm, so something like this, I guess, will work. We'll see. I think the getting the paints out and handling the paints is probably going to be the trickiest part, but we'll see. So it wasn't too, too bad getting the paints out. Um, I've decided to go with the same black brush that I finished with on episode uh, one, season two, uh, last week. 
uh, I really like this one and um, I'm going to continue to use it with these paints um, and again we're going to go with the uh, hard shell panel canvases today and we are set up to go oh also I wanted to say I'm going green with my uh, palette today um, I don't know I can't see the point in continuing to buy little plastic white ones um, you know obviously one at home to kind of just keep with your art stuff is good but if I'm out and about I, I don't want to just keep wasting stuff so uh, it's just I mean it's paper it's you know it's still killing trees I guess but I don't know it's better than plastic and by going green I meant I'm killing trees that's that's what I meant by going green um, and not buying plastic and throwing plastic away I'm gonna kill trees instead that's going green uh, today I am trying to figure out exactly how I'm gonna film myself painting in such a like a confined quarters here um, that's kind of that's kind of the strategy that's eluding me right now and I'm, I'll figure that out and then I can get to work <laughs> colors that came out of this one. All right, we got one more um, panel behind there. Um, I got them stacked on top of each other here. Uh, let this one dry a little bit and then I'll probably do another one in a few minutes. It's pretty warm out here so I eventually had to take a dip. There's a uh, rope swing right over my shoulder over here. and um, Every summer I like to at least see if I don't break my shoulders on it. So after a short trip up river, I found a good spot, I think, to make the second painting, dig in, and I might try and get a little bit more detailed with this, um, and we'll see how it goes. difficult being the cameraman and the painter and the cinematographer at the same time but just trying to kind of cover the 
canvas right now. Get some basic colors all over the place, and then you can kind of build off of that. So a little bit darker, you know, with the water, but then we're gonna lighten up that glare. remember we've got to keep like a that horizon line but that's the fun part about impressionism you can kind of distort that a little bit or play with that a little bit again some darker water around the outsides put it on the hyperlapse now um, you know maybe I'll throw a couple trees in there real quick just to kind of give you an idea of how we're gonna do this and just kind of create an illusion of something here Kind of do the same thing, mixing colors here, yellow and blue, making green. I'm gonna go up along the sides here. Kind of getting it a little bit darker in there. All right, I'm gonna go into the hyperlapse mode. And so, another artist nook, a lovely day on the river. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. I'm enjoying myself making these new episodes. Uh, so, I don't know, hopefully we have some more nice days like this and I can get out here and maybe this whole season will be done outdoors. I don't know, we'll see. Thanks for tuning in.